This year's recipient of the Underwood Excellence in Business Award is Phil Shibley. Phil Shibley has a lot on his plate. He directly manages outpatient therapy at 28 Bell & Health System clinics and, working with the Titletown Orthopedic brand, is responsible for outreach to 27 schools. He was part of the development of Bell & Titletown and the new academic doctorate in physical therapy at Bell & College. Phil is effective because he combines a commitment to people and patients with sound fiscal management and analysis. Well, I think first and foremost, he is a physical therapist who is a manager, so he's a clinician first. So I think whenever you have somebody who walks that walk, that ultimately does help really create that sense of um, understanding from an operational perspective. But he also just really delves into every aspect of the business. From an analytical standpoint, I would say uh, Phil has a very, very good knowledge of of financial aspects that we are required to look at on a daily basis, forecasting, and then really putting the big picture together to develop planning for the future and programs that we might want to invest in. I've been here for 20 years, and um, historically, especially years ago, uh, we, were, we were very hands-on with the financial part of the business, and that's how you were bred, that's how you were raised, that's how you were you were expected to operate, so we are, we are constantly in a continuous improvement mode. It's not like a new initiative. We just live there, we go there, and we know our numbers. So Phil's favorite question to ask is why? Uh, why did you make that decision? Why did you use those numbers? Why did you not talk with that person before you decided to finalize this draft? Why are we doing this? How is this going to impact our patients? He likes to ask the question, why? Phil leads the effort in process improvement, again, by just always thinking really big. Uh, he really pushes everybody to think about where you'd like your, your, you yourself to be in five years, you know, 10 years, 15 years, but also where you'd like the team and your clinics to be in that same time frame, and how the decisions you make today will impact where you end up in the future. I think the, the fun part is just seeing it grow, right? Being able to go from, you know, we started with two clinics, Eshwabanon and, and what was downtown in the Whitney building 20 years ago. And, and you know, our group has, has grown that pretty substantially over the last 20 years, so it's been fun. I think Phil will say that the reason we have been able to accomplish some of the really big things that we have and have had some of the leverage that we've had is because, of, because we've been really successful financially. So the balance between, between clinical practice and, and the business side of things, it can be hard because sometimes people conclude, well, you know, all you care about is the numbers. And I think if you can, you can help translate the value of the numbers to people, and, and how it translates into how productive we need to be or what our access needs to be, they get it. I think Phil is a very ethical person. He has a personal mission and vision statement. He has a very strong set of values. Um, and he always, he's always there for you. One of the other things that I would say is one of Phil's best attributes is the fact that he practices servant leadership to his core. And I think that that's part of what makes him such an effective leader and that it's why people enjoy working with him and for him. Um, as a system, we all provided reasons as to why we choose to stay with Bellin. And when we were around the room at a, as a leadership team, pretty much everybody, I, I don't think there was a single person that did not have him on their list of reasons why we choose to stay at Bellin. In terms of this award, this, this award's cool. There's, there's very little doubt. I had the opportunity to know John. I'm gonna try to honor him here tonight in his professional career in his work with the Green Bay Packers and supporting Bell and & Health and, and being on its board, you know, he made those three organizations all better by the, the, the sense of humor he had, the simple character and integrity and the way he carried himself. Um, so, so to be part of this award uh, that has his name attached to it, it's pretty special uh, for me personally. Congratulations on the John Underwood Award, Phil. You sure deserve it.